Hello everybody, welcome back to another Canva AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to do basic animations from images and then essentially turn them into animated videos, kind of like these ones. These are just some of the basic examples that come with the uh, starter pack, so to speak. These are the ones that Canva set up, but I'm gonna show you how to animate them step by step. So I'm gonna close this up and we're gonna look at it from the beginning. So there's two ways to access it. There's one through canva-create. So canva.com forward slash canva-create and you can go down here and it says create an animation. Alternatively, you can go to the, the canva.com homepage, log in and then also create an animation. If you don't see these here, they may be behind wrappers because they want you to unwrap them. So just keep in mind that they're there, they're just, they might be hidden on your first time. Anyways, click on it and then it says here, make your own animation, try it out. Okay, let's keep rolling here and I'm gonna close that one here. And this is the first screen and they're gonna basically give you a default example. Now, when I click play, there's no animation. So what you need to do to make an animation, it's very, very simple. You just click on the item that you want to animate. In this case, we're gonna animate the bee. And then all you gotta do is just click and hold it down and then just slowly move it around. And you'll notice here that I'm going pretty slow and I'm kind of going in like a circle really nasty circle and then something like that okay let's see what we got now it's pretty janky i'm not gonna lie there's no smoothing it's a very janky animation but it's kind of on purpose because you'll see here now once the animation path is done you can go to the left side and you'll see here the original movement style but if i want to smooth it out this is another option so when i click on that i'll just hover over it and then you'll see here that it's got a little bit of a smoother look to it and it's still not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. And then there's also the steady option as well. Now, one thing I wanna show you here is if you want to speed it up, you can go ahead and do that. It defaults set to like a speed of like zero, like the slowest speed. So if anything, if you go faster, like if I put it in the middle, you get a really, really, really fast animation. So it actually doesn't hurt to go very slow on your animation because it's very easy to speed it up, but you can't speed it any lower. You can't make it any slower than that. So go slow on your animation. Now I've gone ahead and added, I've selected smooth. Also, you can orient the path. So if you want the B to do like, <laughs> like if you were uh, animating uh, and you want like, uh, yeah, maybe not quite like that, but there are there is orient element to path, so you know it kind of follows the direction, including the face and the head, or if you're if it's a plane going up or down, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So keep that in mind, that is available, but I don't tend to use it. Okay, now if you click out and you don't see it anymore, let me show you another few things. One, you can click on custom. You'll notice here that I'm clicked on the B and I click custom, I get that back again. But what happens if I'm clicked off the B? and I'm clicked on nothing. Well, I can click on animate, but when you do that, you're gonna see here page animations, and this is a little confusing, because they actually override the current animation that I just made. So if I wanted to have like a very basic animation like this one, like you can just hover over them and try them out. Party's pretty good. Chill is an opacity reveal, um, for those of you that know your share of animations, a pan and a rise, but they actually overwrite the animation. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna click out again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click back on the B and then I'm gonna click on custom and I've got my movement and my animation that I've already created for the B. Okay, now let's go to this one here and this is another one. If I hit play, you'll see here that all of these are already in movement and they're doing their thing. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and move the playhead back. And now I'm just gonna show you if you click on this and you click on custom, you will see their motion path. So keep that in mind that you can go ahead and adjust these as you see fit. For example, if I wanted this to be out here, I've gone ahead and moved it. So these are the different ways you can animate it. Once you're done, just go up to the top right side, click on share, and then click on download. You can download all the pages, or you can download, for example, just the B page. So I would deselect these ones and I would just get page one, which was that little B animation. Uh, for example, and I would just click on done, and then let's see what we get. Yeah, it should only take a few seconds, and then it's going to download, and then that's going to be it. So there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if you get lost or if anything doesn't make any sense, just ask me. I will do my best to help you. Thanks for watching.